U.S. POWs are freed from Iraqi captivity on April 13, 2003. The seven prisoners included two Apache helicopter pilots downed in an ambush on the 24th of March that saw all but one of the 31 Apaches sent to attack the city of Kabbalah severely damaged or destroyed. The other five POWs were from the 507th Maintenance Company that was badly mauled in an ambush in the southern city of Nasiriyah on the 23rd of March. Shortly after their capture, the POWs had all been interviewed on Iraqi TV, which was later broadcast to the world by Al Jazeera, a move widely considered to be a violation of the Geneva Convention. They were then moved to Baghdad and later on to the outskirts of Tikrit in central Iraq. When the Iraqi capital fell, the POWs were all but abandoned as the soldiers and guards deserted. U.S. Marines then easily liberated the prisoners on their way to capturing Tikrit, which was Saddam Hussein's hometown and one of the last unoccupied major cities in Iraq. They were all very hungry, filthy, and some, like Shoshana Johnson, were still recovering from their wounds, but within hours they were out of Iraq, and within days were back in the U.S.